Hello guys, today I want to showcase you a starter kit for Laravel which kinda is from the next generation. Kind of an alternative to Laravel Breeze but with very modern tools included. So it is Genesis by the Dev Dojo and this guy Tony Lee who is a superstar author of Dev Dojo, Voyager System and many others. So one of his newest creations is Genesis Starter Kit which uses the latest Vault and Folio and Wire Navigate from Livewire 3. So this is a very interesting kind of alternative to Laravel Breeze, pretty opinionated and we will take a look at the code but for some of you I think it would be pretty cool. The installation of that is you install Laravel like Laravel new something and then on top of fresh Laravel project you run these commands. It's similar to Laravel UI so Compose require Laravel UI and then PHP Artisan UI which is ironically actually using Laravel UI under the hood. So this is the first time personally when I saw Tailwind CSS used with Laravel UI not with Laravel Breeze and not with Laravel Jetstream and not with Fortify, but under the hood in the vendor composer JSON of that package, there's Laravel UI, but it's not Bootstrap, it's Tailwind. Pretty weird combination, but that works pretty well. So I have installed that package with just those commands of composer require and npm, and then I launch the homepage and see this. Beautiful homepage, don't you think? Some background, fonts, menu items where you can read something. It's not just typical Laravel Breeze or Laravel Welcome page. And then if we try to sign up, for example, here's the registration form. Let's fill in with fake filler Chrome extension. We register and inside we have this. Structurally kind of similar to Laravel Breeze. So when you click learn more, there's a static blade page basically showing their own documentation but if you click here edit profile there's profile which is again really similar to Laravel Breeze structurally but inside under the hood it's very interesting code let me show you. So if you go to routes web of that project you don't see all those list of routes there is no auth there is no login there is no dashboard where is everything only a few routes which are just for verification and logout. And the thing is that with the new Laravel Folio, it doesn't need to register the routes because the routes are handled automatically with Blade. So all the pages are in resources, views, pages, and then subfolders. So if you type in slash profile slash edit, it would automatically load the resources, views, pages, profile, edit, Blade. If you click on the dashboard, there's dashboard, which automatically is resolved by dashboard index. And if you look at that dashboard index, here's Laravel Folio in action. I have a separate video review of Laravel Folio if you haven't seen it. My personal opinion is pretty mixed because with Folio and Vault together, everything comes back into one blade file. It's kind of back to old days of everything in index.php, in the days where we didn't have any frameworks. So it's kind of in the same style, just the new wave of tools, call it collocation, and tries to mimic the behavior of, for example, Vue.js components, where you have script and templates. So you don't need any routes. It automatically is parsed to this blade. You can here assign middleware, assign the name of that route. Then there are blade components used. A lot of components inside of the same package. There's XUI folder, which corresponds to resources, views, components, UI. So there's stuff like input, placeholders, links, and stuff like that. But if we take a look at, for example, register blade PHP, it's in resources, views, pages, auth. It's a bit bigger file with classes used on top. So that kind of replaces Laravel controller with code on top. And again, I have personal opinion about that, which is pretty negative, which means we kind of move away from the classic MVC. But for small components, for small pages, some of you may really enjoy it. So this is kind of alternative approach to pretty typical Laravel. And then interestingly, XUI link, for example, to home, that link blade component uses wire navigate from Livewire 3. 
which creates single page application behavior. So all in all, you can browse around. A lot of things will be probably new. If you haven't seen Folio and Vault in action, I have videos on both and I will link that in the description below. And it also uses Livewire for things like wire submit register. So there's no controllers to submit to. Everything happens within Livewire components, which are actually in Blade. So it's kind of ironic. So for years we've been teaching to not put logic in Blade in the view layer of MVC, but now we have projects which totally work and are totally useful with all the code in just Blade. So yeah, personal opinion aside, I'm pretty sure that that Genesis starter kit will have its fans. Already 400 stars on GitHub means something, I guess. But of course, we can, as usual, discuss in the comments, what do you think about this Genesis? Would you use it instead of Laravel Breeze? And do you share my opinion that I told earlier? Subscribe to the channel to get more reviews of the packages and tools and everything new in the community. And if you want to support the channel, subscribe to premium membership of Laravel Daily Com, where we have a lot of courses, including those on Livewire 3, Filament 3, and other new stuff in Laravel ecosystem. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.